There is a whole digital ecosystem that is being developed around the teacher and the pupil. The use of digital technology is widespread through the most diverse types of devices – tablets, computers and, of course, Wi-Fi access. This digital environment provides access to information, learning environments, workspaces, textbooks, transcripts, school reports and many other information and tools. In addition to all this, there is also online educational content, textbooks or possibly free content such as open educational resources. Of course, all these materials and resources do not replace the richness of the interactions between teacher and learner and between learners. Several things happen on the other side of a platform, of a screen, but we only see the result. Teachers are used to picking up a certain number of clues in a physical classroom, but they are not all available in the same way when they go through digital tools. The clues that teachers are led to perceive in a real situation in a classroom are notably those of engagement and motivation. For example, you can see if a pupil is asleep. When the noise level rises, you can tell that something is happening. When all heads are down during an explanation of a concept on the blackboard, you can say that something unusual is happening. Even though there are many, many possible explanations, being able to pick up on these clues, or the lack of them, is important. When the pupils are no longer in front of the teacher, how can you see they are dropping out, that they are no longer able to follow? Either because it is too complicated, or the learning format is not adapted to them, or simply because they do not understand why they have to follow this course. It is particularly in these areas, such as engagement or motivation, that the exploitation of digital traces by AI technologies can help the teacher as well as the pupil. More generally, according to Gartner's model, AI technologies, from the most basic to the most advanced, can help the teacher to describe what happened, diagnose why did it happen, predict what will happen, or prescribe how to act according to the possible evolution, a learning situation to better adapt it to a pupil or a group of pupils.